Hello, Miners fans, and welcome to Inside the Dugout. I'm your host, Style Smith, and I'm joined today by Miners manager Mike Pinto and middle infielder Tony Roth. Guys, thanks for coming on the show today. Glad to be here. All right. Tony, I'll start off with you. Uh, you were just today named to the All-Star team. Uh, how's it feel? Good. I mean, I was very excited when uh, Mike told me today. Um, I mean, it's definitely uh, it was a goal of mine coming into this year. I wasn't able to play last year when uh, when Mike selected me to the team. So very excited, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Now, uh, so far this year, you've kind of gone back and forth between playing second base and shortstop. Um, how have you been able to not only play both positions, but play both at a high level? Uh, you know, grew up playing both. Uh, had a lot of experience, uh, you know, doing both in affiliated ball. Uh, got moved around the infield quite a bit. And uh, I mean, being in the middle infield is is fun, you know, to me, and uh, it's where I like to play. And uh, I mean, it just just keeps you involved. I mean, it's such a you're such an important part of the game, such an important part of the team that uh, I mean, that that's what I thrive off of, and, and that's what gets me going. Which position would you say that you prefer? You know, uh, you know, being being at second base the the last couple of years. I mean, I, I've kind of grown accustomed to to being at home there. But I mean, going back to short was a lot of fun. I mean, I always enjoy playing shortstop. It's kind of like you're the center of attention. You have a lot of responsibility on the field, and uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed my time over there. Uh, Mike, from your side, uh, what's it been like having a guy on the team that's so versatile can move back and forth between either position? Well, it was really critical for us, and and I believe Tom, Tony could play the position. He could play shortstop every day for us. But in the big scheme of what we're trying to do and trying to win a championship this year, we want to be sure to, to save his legs, save his body, and uh, a little less stress on the body playing second base than short. And so this way we make sure we have Tony for the whole season. Uh, Tony, you're uh, second on the team both with a 390, uh, 395 on base percentage and with uh, 35 runs. What's been the key to the consistency with the bat this year? Uh, you know, I mean, worked hard this offseason, um, worked hard to kind of prevent some of the, the problems I had last year and, uh, you know, worked out quite a bit at home and uh, came here and had a good spring training and, and just got ready to go for the year. Uh, you know, being experienced, um, you know, being in a lot of games has just enabled me to, to, to stay confident and slow the game down and, and make things a little bit easier for me this year. Uh, Mike, you had four players named to the All-Star team, Roth, Chris Wyman, Brad Miller, and uh, uh, Ryan Bird, uh, what, what's your opinion on that? Well, very happy and proud for the four guys that made it. Uh, I think we have a couple other guys that deserve to be there as well. We certainly would have liked to have seen them there, but the four guys that are going are certainly very deserving, and I think it'll be an experience they'll never forget. Now, uh, you're playing the last game of a three-game homestand tonight against Evansville. Then you go for six on the road at Washington and Florence. You went four and two on your last road trip. Uh, what's the key to staying consistent on the road? Well, we're playing consistently good baseball. We've, uh, uh, we played a real good series, uh, the two uh, series on the road to both River City and Windy City. Um, we just missed the games that we lost there. A um, little less consistent here at home this, this series, so we need to pick it up a little bit. This is a tough stretch for us, 12 of 15 games on the road. That's a lot of time on the road. And so we, um, uh, we get through this stretch, I think uh, we can get on a little run going through the second half of the season. Um, nearing the midway point, just a little over a week until the All-Star break, um, you're three games behind River City for first in the division right now. Uh, what's your opinion on the way the team's played so far this season? Uh, you know what? We're okay. We're okay. We're, we're just not where we think we're going to be. The, the team is still better than what our record is, and certainly, you know, six, seven, eight games over 500 is very good at this time of year. Um, but we're better than that, and I think we are still waiting for a couple of those big, long winning streaks that uh, we've had the last couple of years, and I think we're capable of here before the season's out. Now, uh, this year the All-Star Game's at Rockford, but next year it'll come here to Southern Illinois to Marion. Uh, how do you think the, the All-Star Game will go with the passionate fans here of Southern Illinois? Oh, I think they'll love it. It's a great experience. Um, we certainly enjoyed our time up in Traverse City last year, and uh, I know that Eric and Tim uh, will certainly pull all the stops out to make sure this is a, a really, really good um, representation of what we're capable of doing here. That'll wrap it up for this week's edition of Inside the Dugout. Make sure to check the YouTube page every week for the newest edition.